We're on the ground at the Giro, and I've got something really exciting to show you. We've been given access to the UAE team bus. So we're going to go on board it and show you everything that's in there. I love team buses because they're where the riders get delivered to and from the races, where they can chill out after the race, where they can have shower, where they can refuel. And this bus is pretty special because this is the bus that is that point of sanctuary for riders like Jay Vine, Adam Yates, Jao Almeida, and arguably the world's best rider, although he's not at this race, Tade Pogacar. So... Let's go check it out. Right. Oh, and by the way, if you want to catch up on the Giro, well, you can watch it live, on demand and ad-free on GCN+. Plus. Let's go. Right, before we go inside the bus, there's a lot of interesting things on the outside of it that, that I have to show you. The first thing is, it's not out at the moment, but there's a massive sun awning that comes across the entire length of the bus. So this can be pulled out so that the riders can warm up in the shade, but also it can keep them dry. If the start of a race is wet and they need to warm up, they can be on their turbos, warming up out of the rain. Uh, but then let's have a look in the sponsors. See what's inside. Not sure what we're going to get. Right, so in this first one, this is to help with the warm-up. So everything's neat and tidy and organised in here. But uh, these are the elite turbo trainers, all stowed away so that these can be put out by the mechanics and all the riders can do their warm-ups. Uh, in this one have the all-important washing machines. They've got two. Uh, I'm assuming they put it on Delicates 30 all of the time. That's what you, uh, that's what you wash cycling kit out. Um, and they've got some special, uh, special cycling clothing cleaning stuff there as well. I've not seen that before. No, let's have a look what's in this one. There's a hose pipe as well here, so they can clean stuff. And then, so this is quite cool. This is like, well, this is the nerdy part of the van. So here we've got a, a generator and also a massive fuse board with, I mean, that is, that looks like the inside of a space shuttle. I mean, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of circuitry, but this is a pretty complicated system. So there's some toolbox hose attachments and stuff there, but the generator is really important because there's a lot of systems inside the van, inside the van, inside the bus that, that need power. Um, so they can do that auxiliary, not off the engine of, 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 the, uh, of the bus. Let's go around the other side. Right, let's see what we've got hidden in these compartments. Right, well, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Lots and lots of hydration, lots of water. What about this one? Got it. There we go. Ah, oh, this is cool. So there's cool, there's cool bags in here. So the uh, soigneurs will put in uh, bottles and snacks and stuff like that into these uh, cool bags which keeps them cool during hot stage and then they, they put those in the team car and they give them out. There's a few helmets down here, some rubbish, um, a, a, big, a big speaker, sound system, JBL thing there, that's cool because obviously when they're warming up, they can warm up with some music on and stuff. Um, and an e-scooter. How awesome is that? So presumably that's really handy for when the teams are you know, then they're going various places, like where we are now. If one of the members of staff needs to go out on an errand, they can just nip on the scooter, get down the shops, get what they need to get, and just pop back. And it's just, well, yeah, an easy way to nip through the crowds and stuff, isn't it, and the traffic? Cool. Right, here we go. Well, it's, it's very nice in here already. Like, it's just leather seats everywhere, and it's, it's very smart, very tidy. Um, well, this is the, the business end. We've got this huge, like, curtain that comes down. That's just to sort of give privacy, but also stop the sun coming in to keep the, the bus nice and cool inside. Um, if, if you like vehicles, like I do, uh, you're probably interested to hear that the big power unit power in this baby has got uh, 500 horsepower. So... Uh, lots of power um, and this is where the driver sits he's got a load of screens and stuff he's got his radio as well so he can communicate with the team cars so this is really cool there's all the seats here for the riders and every one of them has this uh Shion, uh cover on their seat which has personalized with their name on it so they all have their own individual place i guess that's to stop fighting in case they start fighting over a chair it's like no this is your chair Jao almeida 
Um, so this is Jow's seat, here we go. Um, and then each seat as well has its own little personalized space. So they've got a little cubby here for like their sunglasses. They can hang their helmet here. You can see that's Jow's helmet and a little bag and just like a little, a little space for personal effects. I can also see that the riders are storing their race radios here uh, next to each one's chair. So presumably this is where they, they put them on at the start of a stage and uh, just before they go out, they put their radio in their, in their jersey. They also um, have, well, uh, they've, they've got their helmets, but they have a choice uh, of different helmets. So there's the, the lighter Trenta and then this is the uh, Manta, uh, which is slightly more aero option. And then there's a big TV screen here. So this is where they get their briefings for the stage. So the director sportif will stand here and then he'll put his uh, briefing for the stage. They'll put the profile of the stage on the big screen and then they'll give the instructions and the plan of what it is that day for the race. Who's gonna attack where, who's gonna go in the break, that sort of thing. Right, let's, uh, let's go back here and see what else they've got. Uh, over here, right, oh, there's a little UAE themed clock there. Um, that's pretty cool. And then let's have a look what's in here. So there's the outdoor coffee station. There's also an indoor coffee station as well. So there's a, a coffee machine there and then there's all the choice of sugars and sweeteners and cups. Uh, we also have a printer here, which um, I'm told is so that the, well, often like the direct sportif might have to print some instructions or print some documentation or some paperwork and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, so it's like, a, it can be like a mobile office. But let's have a look what's in here. This is the fridge. Again, if you were wondering what, what the riders like to drink, well, there you go. There's loads of them. Absolutely loads of them. Let's uh, close that up. And then here we've got a load of massage cream, chamois cream, sun cream as well. If there was one tip that I could give you for the future, it would be wear sunscreen. And then here we've got a load of alternative milks as well, not fridge ones. There you go. Right, over by the sink area, this is a sort of kitchen prep area. So we've got a load of bananas um, and, and a load of apples as well. In here, we've got the world's biggest supply of coffee. We've got Grace flavor, ginseng flavor, Tiao Limoni, all the flavors. Orzo flavor. I thought that was a kind of ricey pasta. Anyway, and then down here is, well, bowls and soy sauce and stuff. And down here we've got a uh, rice cooker and um, a kettle and a bunch of like risotto rice. Cause yeah, rice is, rice is just like super important for recovery. It's a good way to get loads of carbs in. Moving to the, the back of the bus, we've got a nice sort of sofa area where people can presumably chill out um, and queue for the showers because the showers are here. So we've got a toilet in here. This toilet's really nice. This toilet's actually nicer than my toilet in my house. I mean, you could live in this, this bus, it's really nice. And then we've got the shower, which, this is a bit weird, okay? Right, so there's two showers next to each other. I, I think this means that the UAE riders might shower in pairs, which I guess is efficient. Kind of a bit weird. And there's a little shower seat. So if you're tired after the stage, you can just sit and shower yourself down. Something that is um, quite alarming is that the privacy of the shower is it's not quite what I would want um, in the there is this kind of frosted glass area, but there's there's kind of like slits in the frosted glass. So if you really did want to see what was going on in the shower, then, um, well, you, you, you probably could. Now, moving back past here, there's this really nice kind of like sofa area where you can chill out. And there's these in here. Oh, this is like, end of it world. I get this is cool. So basically before the race, when they need to stock up on their race nutrition, fill their jersey pockets, they just come to the back of the bus and get everything that they want for the stage. Let's have a look in here. Some spare helmets and I've noticed that there's other helmets hung up here as well. So again, you've got the, all the helmets are labeled. So there's no picking up the wrong one. These are Formulo's uh, helmets. So again, yeah, there's a mixture of the Aero Manta and also the, the Trenta. Uh, let's go have a look what's in this down here. So this is a second, this is the chocolate fridge. There's lots of chocolate treats in there. <laughs> What's in here? So there's some um, towels and stuff in here um, and some like massage gear. So 
Um, the riders can have massages here at the back of the bus. They, they often do this before a stage, not um, after the stage. After the stage, they'll get a massage uh, in the team hotel where they're staying that night. And then in there, there's just more, more treats and um, some hand warmers. That's pretty much it, I think. I mean, there's another TV screen just there, so you can sit back here and, I guess, watch GCN. Um, you could watch the Giro, in fact, live on demand ad free on GCN Plus. Um, and you could do that while drying your hair. Uh, because there's two hair dryers back here. The reason why they have hair dryers is because obviously like the riders have maybe they've had a shower, their hair's wet or they're looking a bit gross. They want to make sure they look good for when they step outside at the world's biggest bike races and then someone is, um, you know, someone in the press is there taking your picture. You want to, uh, you want to make sure you look all right. Or in the case of Tade Pogacar, he needs to make sure that he blow dries his hair so that he's got that one little bit sticking up through his, through his helmet. Because I mean that, that's his trademark, isn't it? There you go, you saw it here first. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this, in, this look inside the UAE team bus. Big thanks for UAE for giving us this, well, uninterrupted free access just inside the bus to just basically look in every nook and cranny of it. It's really cool. And, um, well, it's, it, I'd quite like to just chill out here. I mean, yes, like I say, it's nicer than my house. Um, which kind of makes me a bit sad as well. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.